What's the major difference between cookery and hospitality management? I guess both are catering to guests. Cookery people are catering to their stomachs and the hospitality people are catering to their accommodation. Really, that's what it is. Uh, so, uh, I mean, when you look at uh, tourism and hospitality and stuff like that, basically you're catering to the human needs to be well fed and also to be well accommodated. So that, that that's really what it is. Uh, as just to uh, from a migration perspective and from a long-term perspective, uh, chefs, uh, which is the cookery uh, people, uh, are in our long-term skill shortage area. And the reason for that, as I also keep stating in a lot of my videos, is because New Zealand depends on uh, tourism quite a lot. Uh, tourism is our largest industry, and we get millions of tourists every year. So all these hungry traveling tourists need to be fed. Uh, because they need to be fed we need a lot of good cooks and we need different kinds of cooks because we are getting people from different parts of the world who would like to eat their kind of cuisine so that's the reason there is a, always a demand for uh, chefs in New Zealand uh, not to mention that the fact is that there's also a demand for hospitality workers as well uh, but it is not in the long-term skill shortage list as against chefs so if you have to choose between cookery and uh, hospitality i would say go with cookery uh, but please bear in mind that cookery is like an art form so don't take it unless and until you have a genuine and honest and serious interest in it because cooking is like an art form and so you can't just jump it jump into it for the heck of doing it so take a conscious decision why well, i also know a lot of young students who come for hospitality courses and succeed because we do also have a very large hospitality industry also driven by our tourism industry so both are equally good but uh, if i had to choose one i would choose cookery